Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Teams mini series. In this episode, we are going to add uh, Team Chat. This will allow you to start a chat uh, that only your team can see. You can basically toggle it on and off, and while it's on, any messages that you say will only be visible to people on your team. So if you have something private that you only want to share with the people on your team, that's an easier way to do it than, I guess, messaging each person individually or using some sort of an outside service than Minecraft. Uh, the first thing uh, that... I did uh, between this episode. I was just doing a little testing to make sure that it works and I realized that I forgot to register the command. So you want to add this one line to the uh, on enable, just get the team command and then set the executor to the command manager. And if you look inside of the plugin.yml, I just added this command section. It's just the team command aliases teams and you know that's basic all of that stuff right there. Uh, so we're good for that. And then there was one other thing that I noticed that when you create a team, uh, you so it adds the team, but then it doesn't automatically add you to the team. And if you're going to create a team, chances are you want to be on it. So let's just go ahead and quickly fix that. So we're going to say team team is equal to new team for name. So we want to add, <coughs> excuse me, we want to add the team. And then team dot add member p. So we create the team, add that team, and then add the uh, player that's around the command as a member. So you'll automatically become a member of the team that you create. And I think that there was one other thing that I noticed here is that we forgot for list members, we forgot to change that from teams to members. So that was just a typo that I noticed. And we are going to do an actual test video at the very end where I just demonstrate that it does in fact work show all the different features and I guess it's also uh, if you're confused on how a certain command works I'll go through uh, all of them so that's all for getting set up let's go ahead and actually write the uh, command stuff or the uh, chat stuff first thing that we need is a command that will um, enable and disable we're not actually you know saving a list of the people who are in the chat uh, we just have the list for while the server is running so we need that and then we also need a listener the for the uh, chatting so the first thing that we're gonna do is copy this toggle friendly fire and we're gonna rename it to um, toggle team chat uh, because sorry about that a lot of um, a lot of this stuff from Friendly Fire is very similar. So first we want to say, uh, you are not on a team. And you know what, we're actually going to come back to this for one second, in a second. Let's just go ahead and also make that listener, which we're going to call player uh, chat listener. So this will, of course, uh, implement listener. And we have our public uh, void on player chat async player chat event e and of course the event handler annotation is very important what is wrong here okay nothing it's just dotted red line for some reason okay so uh... next thing that we're gonna do uh... is we're gonna make a public static array list of player called chatters is equal to new uh, array list of player. Now, okay, this is technically uh, bad practice for a few reasons. First of all, you wouldn't usually make this public. Second of all, you wouldn't really make this static either. Uh, but in this case, it's easier. It just makes more sense. Uh, so basically, in this command, we're going to either add or remove from this list of chatters, and then we're going to have in here, um, not for, we're going to say if chatters.contains e.getPlayer. So if the player has it enabled, then they would be in this list, and then we want to redirect everything to go there. So we're going to say um, team t, uh, or team, 
call it, is equal to team manager dot get instance dot get team for e dot get player. Uh, if team is equal to null, uh, then we want to do chatters dot remove e dot get player. So if they forget to remove themselves from the list of chatting people, uh, and then they like if they did if they have chatting enabled, then they leave a team. Uh, we just want to make sure that we remove them from the list. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and say uh, for player p in team dot, or this will be, we'll just call this string member in team dot get members. And I believe that we were storing these as um, unique ide identifiers. So we'll say um, player. Uh, or we'll just call this M and then we'll say player member uh, is equal to bucket dot get server dot get online or dot get player UUID dot from string M. So we're storing all of the members as their UUIDs. So uh, we need to get the player. We need to get the player from there. Then we're gonna say if uh, member is not equal to null. Uh, because if the member is actually online, then we want to send them the message. So we're going to say member dot send message, and you know you can do a uh, whole thing right here. We'll just go ahead and say uh, pogo teams, <clears throat> and then e dot get player dot get name. So the name of the player who sent it colon, uh, and then uh, space. Uh, and then we'll e dot get message. So what this will do is for every uh, member on that team, it's going to try to get the player given you know from that UUID. And if they're actually online, they're going to send them a message. It'll be prefixed with Pogo Teams. Uh, then it'll have the name of the person who's talking and then their message. Now this doesn't have chat colors, but if you want to add chat colors, then that's never a bad idea. So let's go back to here and do this part, and then we can register all of these pieces. So we're going to go ahead and say boolean new value is equal to exclamation is equal to not player chat listener dot chatters dot contains p. Because remember, uh, if I just say like toggle, if I run this toggle team chat and I don't say true or false. Uh, then it'll be by default whatever it isn't already. Uh, but if it's true, if I specify true, then new value should be true. If I specify false, then new value should be false. So now what we're going to go ahead and say here is we're going to say uh, if, or we can actually just use a ternary operator to make it cooler. We can say new value, question mark, player chat listener dot chatters, dot add uh, p or player chat listener dot chatters dot remove p and that should be fine can I not just oh I can't use a ternary operator alright uh, so then I'll just not use it I'll just say if new value so if if new value is true if it should add them then of course we want to add them uh, and then else uh, we want to remove them okay uh, so we're going to add or remove based on whatever the new value is and um, well, it will have it say, <clears throat> you are now, and then it'll say, in, or not in, team chat. So it'll say, you are in, you are now in team chat, or you are now not in team chat. Uh, and then, of course, we need to do, um, toggle, uh, chatting to team members only, optional, true, and false. Um, we'll just have this be chat or TC for toggle chat. Uh, so that should be fine there. 
So then that's the command for toggling team chat. Now let's go to here. Uh, sorry, let's go to our main and we want to register the player chat listener. And then we of course need to go to the command manager and add the uh, the toggle team chat command. Toggle team chat. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, so that's all for this video. Uh, we added team chat, so you can toggle it on and off. It's, of course, off by default. Uh, so if it's on, then any messages that you sent will only be sent to those people in your team. One uh, really bad thing that I almost forgot is that we didn't actually uh, cancel it. So we want to say... Um, so we want to say... E dot set canceled to be true because I did not uh, cancel it of course so we want it to be canceled or else the message would still be shown okay so now we're done uh, if it's if team chats enabled only the team will receive the message uh, if it's disabled then it'll just work like normal uh, so as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment if there's anything else that you want to see in the Teams mini series. I think that this is a pretty complete plugin. Uh, if I missed, you know, something, then that uh, then I can, you know, go back and uh, make a video on it. Uh, but if not, then I guess the next video will probably just be wrapping up, testing it to make sure that everything works, and then I guess just a demonstration. And if you like this video, click the like button. I'll see you guys soon with some more videos, and uh, bye for now.